Nato's upset because Welcome we're about to back. start cooking. Unikisa, Katao Simu. Um, for those of you who are new here, I am Thais. And, I'm and welcome to our channel. My fridge has been making this weird sound and it's brand new. So if you hear that, just know that it's our fridge um, and they want to say hello, whatever. Anyway, today we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while. We're going to be making kind of like similar dishes, but yeah. from our own cultures. And so I feel like we were talking, we talk about this a lot, like different cultures and everything and how a lot of cultures kind of share very similar um, dishes. Um, many cultures have some form of like a bread or um, something doughy that kind of fills you up. Today I'm going to be making a uh, Wampanoag porridge and I'm gonna be making it kind of like the traditional way. So I'm not gonna be using flour. I'm gonna be using corn because that is the, what the indigenous people here use until wheat was brought over. I'm going to be flavoring it with um, some berries, natural berries, native berries to these lands. Um, also sweeteners. So instead of sugar, I'm going to be using maple syrup. Maple syrup is a natural sweetener that you can find in the like Massachusetts like northeast region of this country um so and I think um you're kind of going to be doing the so, same I'm going to be like a lot of these ingredients are pretty much the same um my main ingredient being a plantain I don't know if this is exclusive to Jamaica or when it started but um I know a lot of Caribbean people make plantain porridge and yeah, I'm gonna be using plantain, brown sugar, which is the best one to use, and allspice, nutmeg. I don't have any vanilla, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be substituting that mm. for almond extract. Mm. I'm not sure. Not you know good. what? I'm gonna leave it out. I'm gonna use this yeah. because it's That's gonna, this it's is just gonna, way it's stronger. It's very strong. Than, yeah, so I don't want to use that. I'm using a third cup of each fruit. And these are not old, they're frozen, which is why you might see a little frost on them, but they're perfectly fine. We did like this challenge where I asked like a few people in my family to say, what did I say? Thank you? Yeah, to say thank you in like seven or eight languages and like to do it right away. John could only say like two. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. What was that challenge again? So you have to say thank you in seven languages. Mm. Go. See, she didn't say Go. thank you. She said hello. No, I didn't. I just said thank you, Don. It was um, thank you, not hello. Was it thank you or hello? I think it was a hello. I, oh, I was, it was it hello? Thank you. No, it um, was thank you. Oh, it was thank you, it right? It was thank you. All right. I'll go first. Since he I, no, I'll, I'll go first. No, he's in there trying to stall. No, gracias. <laughs> Spanish. Gracias. Yeah. To do Bane. That's. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's three. Thank you. That's four. No. <laughs> hey, here we go. Thank you. Katapatash. Obrigada. Gracias. Ooh. She is she. That's thank you. Origato. Origato? I'm not sure. Origato? I'm not sure. Um, mahalo. Me. Mahalo. What is that? That's Hawaiian. Isn't it Hawaiian English? What? I'm, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing Pouring in the berries. The fire is not on, by the way. I'm not trying to burn anything. Oh my god. Oh my god, here comes Nato. Leave me alone, Nato. All right, those are stuck, so I was trying to be cute. Oh, look at how pretty it looks already. Look at the colors. Okay, so I just added the cornmeal, water, and berries. You add it at the same time. What's cool about the cranberries is they actually pop and all the juice and yumminess is gonna come out. Same um, strawberries too and blueberries. Anyway, I put it on medium heat. I'm gonna let it um, simmer and then I'm gonna start stirring. But right now I'm just gonna cover it and let it get to a simmer and then I'll start uh, 
mixing it around. I'm good. You wait to add the sweetener. You don't want the sugar to burn because it'll change the color of the uh, of the nasam. And so we don't want that. And Don is just getting started. Um, as usual, he is always way behind me. Sharp knife. Which that is not. This one is the sharpest knife in the house. No, it's not. Actually, that little one that I used the other day was actually really sharp. That tiny, tiny little one. I was cutting peppers nice. and it was like butter. Nice. Look at this. You see, if Nate. Hold on. If Nato doesn't like plantain, he's not even eating it. Oh, he took it anyway. <laughs> he's going to spit it that up. That dog will eat anything. As long as it's on the floor, he's going to eat it. Like, I feel like... Oh my goodness. Wow. Amazing. It is a little stuck to the bottom, just a little bit. Oh, that's fine. Look at the. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. That's really good. And it smells even better. Wow. Look at that color. The blueberries kind of popped. Oh, this is perfect. Don, I'm yeah. sorry. This is going to be so good. This is a it is a little stuck to the bottom, but that's to be expected because, you know, it's a little stuck to the sides too. Can't be perfect. Imagine what happens when two nation just combines and make magic in the kitchen. Right? This is, this is... Wampanoag Nation. Wampanoag. This is Wampanoag and Jamaican. Well, mine doesn't look that colorful. No, but it is very smooth, actually. Can I always start for me. To be honest. Wow. Oh, it's very oh, thick. Oh, oh, it is very thick. That's how I oh love my, it. look at this! Can't even. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's very thick. And this is the reason why Usain Bolt is breaking all them records. He was brought up on cornmeal and planting porridge. Look at that. Eat like a Jamaican. Got the cinnamon in. Check. I'm not gonna add my cinnamon yet. But it's good to cook it because it gives it a little more flavor, and then you can add the little the powder f version. But this like infuses it and makes the flavor very even and consistent. It's like a chef. Don't I? I watch a lot of videos. <laughs> so now we're gonna sweeten the porridge. I'm actually gonna use sugar. She's gonna be using maple syrup. So let's see how keeping it, comes it out. traditional well, sugar yeah. cane grows where in mm -hmm. jamaica maple syrup is from where here <laughs> glug 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 i can't believe you just said that <laughs> i'm actually gonna add more because i don't even trust that i'm just gonna add this whole bottle <laughs> i'm not gonna lie my grandma used to add like half pound of sugar in her porridge <laughs> Because that's the only way she could get us to drink parch. When we were younger, we would not like parch. So, mm. I'm just gonna free. That could have been too right much, now. honestly. I think. That was a, oh my god. Tice, that's that is a lot, a lot of sugar. Tice, I relax. hope I didn't put too much maple syrup because the berries are kind of sweet. I mean, actually, they're kind of tart, some of them, because they're cranberries and strawberries, but we'll do a taste test. I'll let you know. So, we are going to plate it, and I'm gonna show you guys the final result. That oh color God. is like amazing. Good job, Tice. Thanks. Wow, I teach you very well. You didn't teach me. Oh my God. Cut. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> oh my God. NATO. Oh my God. But look at that. That actually looks wow. like amazing. What you know it's about crazy. that? Which, wait, hold on. What you know about this? Tice. Oh, that's one way to do it. Yeah, I'm I was scared. It was too heavy, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. That is very smooth. It's like baby food. Do you make this for babies? Yeah. Babies eat this a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very smooth. Are old people with no teeth? Oh yeah, old people too. <laughs> now, hold up. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not going to eat these. <laughs> 
I just think that it would look nice. So I'm just gonna put them on top. These are walnuts. If you're allergic to walnuts, which I feel like a lot of people are. Yeah. Please don't do this. Um, I just wanted it for the looks, to be honest. Okay, so here is the final result, you guys. I think we both nailed it. We both did so good. <coughs> NATO agrees. <laughs> so on the right, we have plantain porridge, which is a tri with some bread, which is, which is a traditional Jamaican breakfast dish. And then on the left here, we have a sasamaniash, unawayamaniash, watahamaniash, nasump which is a uh, cranberry, blueberry, strawberry porridge with some nuts and seeds. Um, this is a very traditional recipe. I used all ingredients that can be sourced here in Massachusetts, and I am so impressed with myself. <laughs> like, let me tell you, they ate very well, and I am about to eat very well. I am so thankful that I was able to make this meal, and Nato agrees. Yeah, NATO agrees with me. This is like, I'm just so happy right now. Yum. And this looks pretty good too. All right, so the end result is they're both really good. So if you guys enjoyed watching this, let us know. We'll do a video similar to this. Um, or if you want to try either of the recipes, the description will be down below. And please comment and let us know how it came out for you. Um, or if you've made it before, just comment down below. Let us know. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. And, and we will see, see you, you in the next, next time. We got a really good video coming next time. So it's going to be super fun. Um, Wait, the next two videos are going to be amazing. We'll see. Like, life changing. Yeah. And my birthday is coming up so. February 3rd. So if you want to send me any birthday wishes, yeah, I would appreciate it.